Uh, my name is Sanjeev Singh. I'm at Carnegie Mellon University, and it gave me great pleasure to welcome you to this workshop, this NSF workshop on vertical farming. Um, there's about 75 people registered for this workshop here in person, and uh, last I checked, around 150 people who registered all across the world uh, to be, in, be in, on, in on this workshop. So it's uh, fantastic. It's a greater audience than we had expected, and we're really looking forward to it. So let me just get started. Um, like many of you in this room, I got very interested in the issues of food um, a uh, few years ago, and specifically safe and um, safe food that is in an abundant supply for the world. Uh, clearly, this idea of these food issues are, you know, they have many, many forms. Some people are really concerned about the quality of the food. And there's people who are just not even getting enough to eat. Um, on one hand, um, there's, there's a legitimate concern about sustainability. Um, where, and then there's uh, issues about safety, just being able to have food that is safe or secure from, uh, from pests or from disease or other kinds of threats. Um, there's also some issues of environmental footprint um, and these are sort of a whole bunch of issues that are out there, many people working on various aspects of these issues. So I, like many other people, sort of interested in trying to figure out how possibly we could uh, think about working in this area and making something happen that is not happening already. It became evident that some sort of new thing is necessary, a, possibly a paradigm shift is necessary to look at food. And um, somewhere in there, I, uh, a few years ago, I happened upon um, this op-ed piece in, New in the New York Times by a guy named Dixon Despommier, uh, who wrote about something he called vertical farming. I got very, very interested and immediately called up Dixon and uh, got into this interesting conversation with him and um, have uh, started a collaboration with him. Um, so... I was trying also, the next step is, what, what, how would we go about doing something about this? And happened to be sitting next to Roger Beachy, who was the previous director of NIFA. NIFA is the branch that funds all of USDA's research. And I sort of I had a few minutes uh, in sitting on a panel with him. And in between sessions, I asked him, what should we do? Here's there's all these issues here, paradigm shift necessary. I didn't even have the right words for this. So he thought for a minute, and he said, Here's what you need to do. You need to gather the world's experts in a room, get them to come to a consensus, write a report, and then take it to the people who would fund this. You know, gather the world's experts, put them in a room. Why didn't I think of that? So, <laughs> so the next few months and years, I, I spent sort of talking to everybody I could think about. The guy would come over, ask for a lawnmower. I, hey, let me tell you about vertical farming. Um, Rich Voiles at uh, NSF called me up to ask me if I'd be on a panel uh, for reviewing some proposals. And I said, no, Rich, I can't do that. But uh, hey, how, how about this uh, workshop? Uh, could we have a workshop on vertical farming? And uh, well, OK, fast forward. We have the world's experts here. And they are in a room. I, hopefully, uh, they will write a report. I don't know about the consensus part. OK. <laughs> so. Uh, my job here is to sort of like sort of um, welcome you and to just get us on the same page about what this workshop is intending to do. So there's a, a video that some of the people who got infected by the uh, by this whole idea of paradigm shift in uh, agriculture um, put together, and here it is.
Okay, so um, we left out the 800 number where you could call the operator standing by since this is a National Science Foundation workshop. The, quite, the reason I left out the 800 number is we're not quite sure what we would be selling if you call that 800 number. So what this workshop is all about, and there are lots of workshops and conferences on various disciplines, is to bring people together in a way that hasn't been brought together. So that, I think, sort of answers the, or addresses the National Science Foundation's mission to find these synergies, find them in places that might not exist, find them in biology, find them in economics, find them in engineering and architecture, and put these people together and to come up with the kinds of goods that might be sold if you call that 800 number. So that's what we're here today. I wanted to note that we've sort of hijacked Dixon Despamier's uh, term vertical farming. Dixon is here. He will be giving a great talk right after me about vertical farming as he envisioned it. But we, when we say vertical farming, we've sort of meant it as a much wider idea. And the notion might be, you might want to think about this, if we are to sort of like uh, think about 10x, 10x, 10x increase in yield and 10x decrease in water, they, that there is no sil uh, single silver bullet and that there is going to be a sort of a wide range of uh, solutions that are going to be applicable at different scenarios. So that's what this workshop is about. We're not endorsing any particular solution, but we're, what we're looking is for is for the tough questions to be answered. My last slide here, and I'll get out of the way, we have this great lineup. I just want to um, say once again to the speakers, please respect the 20 minute time limit. There are people all over the world who are tuned into this and it would be great if we could give them a, um, a workshop that stays on time and stays on intention.